Is this thing on? Hey there everyone! Have you ever wondered why some things sink and some things float? Well in today's video we're going to take a look at just that. What sort of objects sink and what sort of objects float and do you think you can figure it out before we give it a try? I have a bucket of water and I have some objects. Let's see if they sink or float. What do you think about a die? Sink or float? It's a sinker. Blue chip? sinks. A wooden block floats. A little yellow man sink. A white chip sinks. A blue plastic rod sinker. A domino it floats. Binder clip? That sinks. How about a big chunk of clay? It's green. Does that make a difference? Let's see what happens. Oh, that definitely sunk. So why do some objects sink and some objects float? Let's take a look. Sinking and floating is all about density. See, density is how much stuff, how much material is packed in a certain amount of space. If something's going to sink in water, then its density has to be greater than water. And if something floats in water, well, its density is going to be less. So can you figure out something's density just by looking at it? What do you need to know to figure out something's density? Well, you need two pieces of information. You need to know how much mass that object has, how much stuff builds that object. And you need to know how much space that object takes up. Okay, so here's my bucket of stuff. I'm going to take these things out and give them a good dry off. Take a look at my little yellow man. He sunk. How about the clay? That sunk too. The density of both of these things must be greater than water. Well, I can't change how much mass I have, but I can change the volume. Volume is the amount of space this object takes up. I can push the clay around into a different shape. Does the clay have a different mass? Nope, I still have all the same clay I started with. But did its shape change? Well, a little bit. So what if I put the man inside my clay? It's like a little boat. If I put this in the water, let's see what happens. Look at that, it's floating. Let's take a closer look. Look at that. The little man is floating in his clay boat. Okay, so we can see what's going on here. I'm going to take my boat, I'm going to cut it in half, and we're going to take a different look at this. So what's going on here? Well, here's the cross section of the boat and our little man is inside. The density of the clay is greater than water and the density of the man is greater than water, but yet the boat's floating. 
So we said for something to float, its density has to be less than water's density. And for something to sink, its density has to be greater than water's density. And I left out an important little tidbit. It's really the average density of all the parts that are submerged. So the clay has a density greater than water, and the little man might have a density greater than water, but is there something else submerged in the water? Well, there's a lot of air. Do you see the air that's underneath the level of the water, but is inside the boat? Well, that's part of it too. And air floats, right? We find air on top of water. So if I calculate the density of all the stuff underneath the water level surface, well, the average of that density is less than water. And that's why it all floats. I can keep adding things into my boat. Well, if I add things into my boat, what I'm pushing out is air. If I take cement and I fill my boat up, it's going to sink. If I take something that floats, like styrofoam, and I fill my boat up with that, well, it's still going to float because the average density of all the stuff underneath the water level contained within the boat well, the average density is less than water, and it will float. There's actually a race that I once saw. It's called the concrete canoe race. College students make canoes out of concrete. We typically think that concrete will sink. Well, if we shape that concrete right and add lots of air and styrofoam underneath the water level with the concrete, then the average density goes down, and therefore the boat will you got it, it'll float. So people that design boats need to make sure they remember this. We can't fill up the boat all the way with steel or cement or concrete. We need large pockets of air or styrofoam or some other material that has a density less than water so that our boats float. So you're perfectly safe getting on a boat. We just can't cram everybody onto the boat. Anybody know how to shut this thing off?